Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're doing great. Happy Thursday, April 9th, 2020. I hope you're all doing great. I can't believe it's already Thursday. It's our fourth day of distance learning. It's going so fast. And I was so happy to see you guys on Zoom on Monday. That was so much fun to see you guys and see your writing and your calendar. And it was extra special to sing happy birthday to Mackenzie. Mackenzie, I hope you're having a great birthday week. And today we're just gonna continue with our essential question, how can I help out at home? And we'll still continue to be doing activities and learning all about how we can be helpful at home. But first let's do our review and let's see. We've been working on the diagraphs, TH, SH, and CH. We've been working on these all year and I know we all know these, but we're just gonna keep doing them so we have them all in our heads when we see them in books and when we're writing in our journals. So say what does TH say? What does SH say? And CH says, what does the train say? Remember, we remember that because of C, half of the train track, right? Choo, 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 choo. CH says, Shh. okay, so I've got some new words up here and all the words today are going to start with the digraph. So let's read them together. Shh, if, ship, good job. Uh, d, thud, good job. And the last one is, Very good. If you guys need to pause and reread those on your own without me saying them, that'd be great also. Our sight words of the week are still help and two. Remember this kind of two means also, or there's too much of something, not the regular two. Okay, and boys and girls, let's go over our vocabulary words for the week. We have member, and we all know member means being part of the group. Organize, we all know what organize, what does organize mean everybody? Yes, good job, J.O. You know what organizing means. Putting everything back in its spot. Having a place for everything. And chores. Do you even know what chores is? Good job, Gabriel. Yeah, chores is a job you do at home to help out. A chore is a job you do to help out. And contribute. Who knows what contribute that is? Good job, Malaya. Yes, contribute means that you are helping out some way. You're contributing your help, you're contributing your mind, you're comp contributing your voice. All of those things are ways you can contribute. She's contributing by sweeping up the dust off the floor. She's contributing to her household and keeping it clean. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so today we have a new story. It's called Clean Up. So clean up, wow, that's kind of easy to predict what the story might be about because I already see in the pictures that they're doing things that they're cleaning up. And I know that we're learning about how we can help out at home and we help out at home by cleaning. So I predict that this story is gonna be how people and families help out at home to keep things nice and neat and tidy. Okay, the clean up. When can we go to the park, Anna asked. We have to clean the kitchen first, says dad. That's our new rule. Let's all help to clean up, Gabe says. I'll wash the dishes, volunteers Louise. Gabe carefully dries the dishes. Anna puts the dishes away. Teamwork gets the job done faster, says mom. Dad frowns. Look at that mud! Mom mops the floor. Gabe helps. Anna picks up the toys. Louise pulls Ace's leash. Time for your bath, Ace, he says. Everyone starts working faster. The kitchen shines. We did it, Gabe cheers. Let's work together to keep the house clean from now on, says Mom. We can make a chores chart, says Anna. The family fills out the chart together. After the park, the family finds a nice spot in the shade. Louise kicks a ball to Ace. Oh no, but it's too late. Another chore. Everyone laughs. They will all give Ace another bath later. All right, boys and girls, so let's look at this page over here. Who remembers?
remembers how they help in their house. Anyone know? Very good, Cornelius. Yeah, the kids are helping by washing and drying the dishes. Very good. Anybody else know how the families are helping each other get that kitchen cleaned up? Yeah, very good, Lila. Mom and Dad are cleaning the counters. Very good, and organizing the books. Excellent. Who can tell me on this last page? Here we go. Why do they say, uh-oh, Max is going to have to have, a, excuse me, Ace is going to have to have another bath. Who can tell me why they think Ace is going to have to have another bath? Yeah, Aaliyah, what do you think? You're right. It's because look at here, Simon and Ace. Ace got all muddy chasing the ball. So he's gonna have to have another bath. And that's what Mrs. Blanche wrote about yesterday, remember? In my journal, I wrote about how I would help. I would help, I would help out by giving Tucker a bath. Yeah. So raise your hand if you've ever given your pet a bath. Yeah, giving our pets baths are fun, but sometimes it can be extra messy and make more work for you because then you have to clean and mop up the floor from all the water getting everywhere, right? Yeah, but it's always fun to do that. Okay, so boys and girls, let's look at Lara's writing here. Let's see. Let's see what word choices she used to write her sentence in her journal. This is what she wrote. I like the book Jane Helps. I learned about fun jobs I can do. That's very good and good writing. And she's got her period at the end of the sentence and she's got her uh, uppercase letter for the start of her sentence. <gasps> Look at I. Who remembers what that special word I is? Do you guys remember? <gasps> Quiet hand, who remembers what I is? Aiden, you're right. You always remember that, Aiden. I is a pronoun. That is right. I is talking about Lara. Lara said, I like the book Jane Helps. Remember, a pronoun is talking about a noun without saying its name, right? Good job. Okay, let's see our adjectives. We all know what an adjective is. Adjective is a describing word. So let's see what this sentence is. I use a small broom to sweep. Let's read it one more time. I use a small broom to sweep. Good job. Who can tell me what the pronoun is in that sentence? Excuse me, not the pronoun. Who can tell me what the adjective is in that sentence? Good job. Yeah, McKenna, what is it? What's the adjective in that sentence? You're right, McKenna. It's small. Small the adjective because it's describing what the broom looks like. And she says that the broom is small. And I agree, that broom is small. It's not very big. Let's read the second sentence. This red glass is my favorite. One more time. This red glass is my favorite. All right, who can tell me what the adjective is in that sentence? Jaden, what's the adjective in that sentence? Good job, Jaden, you're right. The adjective is red because it's describing the color of the glass. Good job, boys and girls, I'm so proud of you. You're doing such an excellent job. Okay, so on Friday, I don't know if your mom's told you yet or your dad's that I had emailed them yesterday and I told them that we are gonna be having our spelling test during our Zoom time on Friday. So you will find your spelling test in your packet and you're gonna be pulling out number 10, because we're already on spelling test 10, and you will be taking that with me during Zoom time, okay? So we're gonna practice those words that we'll have on the spelling test. And let me see what color I'm gonna to use today. I think I will use purple. Okay, so our first spelling word is caught. I know it's so easy for all of us because we just gotta use our fingers to segment those sounds and write the sounds we hear. So caught. K. Oh, uh oh, that might be tricky because there's two letters in the alphabet that say k. 
We know that it's the letter K and the letter C. Hmm. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the letter C in Boys and Girls. Mrs. Blanche always gives you hints during spelling tests right before we start, right, boys and girls? So I will let you know and remind you that we are not writing the K this time in any of the words in our spelling test. We're not going to see the letter K. So let's spell cot. K. Ah. What letter is that, everybody? Good job. O. K. Ah. T. What letter is that? Good job. T. So we spelled cot. The second word for our uh, spelling task would be dot. Let's spell dot. D. What letter is that? That's D. Boys and girls, make sure you look at your alphabet strip. I don't want to see any Bs for Ds. So we make sure we're making a D. So we use that alphabet strip so we don't make any boo-boos. So dot is D. So boys and girls, I'm going to make sure I make a C first. Close it up to make the D. D. Ah, we know that's an O. Boys and girls, remember, we always start the O up at the top. Top, around to bottom, back to the top. I don't want to see any O starting at the bottom. D, A, T. What is that? T. Good job, boys and girls. All right, let's see what our next spelling word is. It is hot. Oh, I cannot wait till it's hot outside so we can do fun things. Huh. Very good. Letter H. Huh. Ah, we know that's O. Huh, ah, t. Good job. Good segment, T. Hot. Good job. Our next one is lot. Like there is a parking lot at our school. L. What letter is that? Good job. L. L. Ah. There's the O again. Make sure you start up at the top. L. Ah, t. Good job. Lot. Our next one is not. Mmm. Boys and girls, good job. N. Ah. There's an O. T. Good job. Okay. Our next one is pot. We use a pot for cooking. P. We know that's a P. Ah. O. T. T. Our next one is rot. Ooh. Boys and girls, so when we say rot, it's rot. It's not what with a W. It's rrr, rot. So we have to make sure we know what that letter is. R. R. Good job. We're going to make an R here. R. Next sound is R. A. R. A. T. Good job. Excellent. Okay, and then. Our next spelling word, boys and girls, I gave you four letters for this next one, and we have a blend. Remember, we do blends a lot during sore time in my class, so we're going to make sure that we're segmenting that blend. So let's do blot. B. 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 A. B. A. T. Good job. Blot. Sorry, close that up. And then our last spelling word is our one of our sight words, and it's was. And remember, boys and girls, when I say was, we always pretend that it's spelled like was, right? Was. Because if we spelled it the phonetic way, it would be W U Z. And it's not that. We know that W A S. Remember, sight words are. Words that we learn to spell by sight, we memorize that. We're not going to sound those out. Okay, so those are our spelling words that you'll be practicing. So make sure, if you can, make sure you're doing your homework. Okay, it's in your packet. Okay, this week's homework is April 6th through 10th. Okay, so I want you guys to continue doing that. All right, and also in your packets, we have a few more activities. So if you need to push pause, you can go ahead and push pause and go get these three activities, the bunny rabbit with the carrots, the long and short A activity, and our sight word help activity. Okay? All right. Okay. So today we're going to start with help. 
Zoom in. Zoom in on this paper. Okay, and boys and girls, go ahead and get a marker. It could be the marker, one of the markers that I gave you or any marker you have at home. Make sure you write your name up at the top. Pencil. Okay, we're trace help. Let's go together. Oh, that's a marker that didn't work. I think I need to put that down there. We're not going to use that one anymore. Let's spell it together. H-E-L-P. I need a different color marker now. H-E-L-P. Say it with me. H-E-L-P. Help. H E L P help. You're helping me spell the word help. H E L P help. Good job. So boys and girls, remember where I showed you the easy way to do the next part? We're just gonna spell it. H E L P. So get that pencil. H E L P. H E L P. I'm going to spell the whole thing. H-E-L-P. Good job. Then you can go back. You're going to be doing this on your own after you watch the video. And you're going to be finishing tracing all the rest of the letters for help. Now let's read this, this sentence at the bottom. Who's going to read that for me? Who wants to read this sentence for me? Sophia? Okay, go ahead, Sophia. Read this for me. Good job, is that all zoomed in? Very good. So, she said, I like to help. Good job, Sophia. So, Sophia, what do you, how do you like to help? Hmm, let's think of things. Yesterday we wrote that in our journal. Let's see, I like to help make my bed. I like to help do the dishes. I like to help take the garbage out. I like to help mop the floor. So whatever you like to do. Okay, so Mrs. Blanche is going to say, I like to help mop. Mmm. Ah. Mop. Finger space. The. We all spell the. T H E. Okay, finger space. Next word is floor. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Or, and then I wrote floor. Okay, so boys and girls, then I would draw a picture of me mopping the floor. So there's our pronoun, I, it's talking about me. So I have to draw a picture of myself here. So I would draw me up here. And then I draw my clothing. myself an, an arms and then I'd be holding the mop and then I have a name for the mop. This is an old fashioned mop. We really don't use mops like that anymore. Okay then I'm gonna make my bucket for the water. myself and I'm smiling because I like to help so I'll be smiling and I have to put my hair okay maybe I'll give myself some shoes all right boys and girls so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do this on your own and you're gonna think of your own way you like to help and then if you finish and you want to do actually you can go ahead and color in the word help okay Good job. Okay, our next activity is, if my tape still works here. You're gonna be listening to the sounds in these pictures, and we're gonna decide if the A is gonna say its name, A, or if it's gonna say its soft sound, A. So cut across the top, and then Mrs. Blanchard shows you the easy way. 
Then we're gonna cut across the bottom all the way until it falls off. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut up. Cut up, and then cut up. Let's see if I can see this. Cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up. Cut up. Okay, so over here, we have short A. Shh. You see the diagraph? That says A. Ah. And the long A says A. And we see the bossy E here. So that's going to be our clue. I see that bossy E. That bossy E is going to make the A say A. So let's say these words together. And here I have, zoom it in so we can see these pictures. Here I have map. Mm, ah, oh, that's a soft sound. A is saying ah and not a, so we put it on that side. Okay, here we have a boy that is going to wave. Wave. Ooh, I heard a say a, so I paired over here with a bossy e because the bossy e makes that a say a. Then we have over here. What do we have here? Tape. Ape. What side should I put that on? Let's see, who am I gonna call on? What side am I gonna put uh, that on? Um, let's see, Madison. What side should I put this on? The soft A sound of A or the hard sound, long sound of A? Does it say A or no? Not. T Ape. You're right, Madison, it goes on this side. A, because we hear T, A, A, and tape. So we have hat. Hat. Hmm. Where is that one gonna go? Justin, where's that one gonna go? Hat. You're right, Justin. It's gonna go over here on the soft A sound because it says a ah, and not a. Good job. Okay, here we have gate g eight. Who can tell me where that one's gonna go? Anybody? Good job, Keaton. It's going to go on the boss E side because we hear A say A and G eight. Good job. Put it over here. All right. Then we have over here a cape. K ape. Gion, what do you think we're going to put K ape in the soft sound or the long sound where it says A? Good job, Gion. It's going to go on this side because we hear A say A and cape. And here we have cat. Caitlin, where do you think we're going to put cat? K-A-T. Do we say a or a? You're right, Caitlin. It's going to be going on this side, the short sound for a. Short sound for a. Good job. And if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and color those in. And you could spell them if you like. Let's do gate. G. A. T. Zoom it in. I'm going to put a bossy E. Tape. T. A. T. Bossy E, wave, w, a, v, bossy E, tape, k, a, p, bossy E, and then cat, k, a, t, no bossy E, because A say a, so we have map, m, a, p, good job, and we have hat, h, a, t, good job, boys and girls. Okay, so now oh, we're going to do our next final activity. And it is our bunny and carrot page. And we have some more cutting. So lots of cutting today, boys and girls. Really listening for those phonemes, those sounds in the work. I'm going to cut across the top here. And then I'm going to cut across the bottom of all of these. And then I'm just going to cut up. We know how to cut this stuff. This is not supposed to be you with our cutting. Okay, and I have one more thing. So boys and girls, inside the bunny rabbit, we want to find all the words that end with and. And. And then on the carrot, we want to find all the words that end with at. At. So let's do this together. Okay, I'm gonna make it easy for you guys today. We're just gonna put dots in every box that we're gonna just put them on. Over here, bat. Oh, 
So the end of N, I know I end with T, B, A, there it goes. It ends in the A family. Good job. Let's zoom it in really good. Here we have cat. Does it end in an? At. Nope. K at. Does it end in at? Yes, it does. I hear t at the end of cat. Good job. Here we have the word, there's a picture, van. Van. What does that end with? You're right, it ends with n, so it has to go over here. Here we have. Oh, we might see cook with a pan. Hmm, what side is that going to go on? Is it going to go on the and side or the at side? I would think you're right. It's going to go on the and side. Pan. Here we have the picture of a hat. Oh, I hear the t at the end, so it's going to go on the t side. Good job. And here we have can. Good job. Easton, I think you're right. I think you told me that it's going to go on the end side. Can. Good job, Easton. Okay. So, boys and girls, now we have all those glued on. Now you get to color this so nicely. You get to color in your carrot, orange. Do your best work. All right. Good job. I'm not going to finish it, but you guys will. And you're going to do your best, best work. Okay. Those are your three activities that you're doing today for the lesson. Okay, so you'll be doing the bunny carrot page, the bossy E or the soft sound of A, and your help practice for your sight words, okay? And then if you can, start practicing your spelling for your spelling test that's going to be on Friday, which is tomorrow. And I think that's it. So boys and girls, you do have your decodable reader that's called I Want to Help. Mrs. Blanche doesn't have it because I remember I gave all of them to you guys. So yours is I want to help. So go ahead and you can practice reading your I want to help with your families. It's about um, Pam that can help mix and Mac can help mix too. That's part of the story. So you guys can go ahead and um, read that story to your families maybe before you go to bed. And then you can do your page that you have in your packet that looks like this. So it's not the one that I have here. It's the one that you have. Okay, but it looks kind of like this, but it has all the A words. So you're gonna be listening for all those words that have a, um, the A say its name. So those will have the bossy E at the end. And if you don't have an A that says their name and it says ah, you won't put the bossy E at the end, okay? Also, these are your math mats, okay? You guys can be doing these on your own whenever you want to. Your moms and dads will read the directions at the bottom and you guys can complete those at, at your convenience, okay? And also, go ahead and get onto Raz Kids, and you can listen to some stories. Does that sound like a good idea? All right, boys and girls, that's it for today, and I will see you tomorrow on Friday. I'll see you twice, once for school, and the second time for Zoom time when we take our spelling test. That will be at two o'clock, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.